known for her trend-setting hairstyles, her rebellious sensibility, and of course those $800 haircuts, Sally Hershberger is undoubtedly one of the most sought-after hairstylists in the world. From first ladies to Hollywood's leading ladies, her scissor savviness has kept Hershberger in high demand for decades. Today, this visionary juggles her A-list roster of clients while overseeing bi-coastal salons and two hair care lines. We caught up with her to get her insight on taking your brand to the next level and how carving out me time can actually benefit your business in this Learning from the Pros. Obviously, you're born with your eye, you know, if you're in beauty or whatever. But I think the key is doing what your gift is. I think it's important to just know what you're good at, and then you're usually going to love that because you're good at it. And picking things that you might not necessarily make money in, but if you're clever, you'll find a way how to make money. I've been offered to do salons in many department stores, you know, be all over the place, but it's, you know, I don't want to dilute my brand. People, the press was like, oh my God, you charge this? And I go, well, think about it. Women want to look beautiful. Men want to look beautiful. And you can buy a bag for $800 and be fine about it, but you can put it down over there. This hair you're wearing 24-7. It's on you. Wherever you go, it's your best accessory. I was changing the way women wore their hair. I wanted hair to look just effortlessly sexy, have movement without seeing product in the hair. You need something to give it guts. So I started really playing with products. I mean, I'm very creative in that way. And then I realized 50% of great hair is the product you use. So it was common sense for me to come up with a product line. Do not worry. Do what you think is right because your instincts are what take you to great places. If you listen to other people, what do they know? You know. Like, you should listen to yourself. It's fun to get advice, but at the end of the day, you're always going to do what you want to do. I'm not a workaholic at all. People think I am. I'm just far from it. Again, you surround yourself with creative people, smart people. So it allows you to enjoy the life because this is it. It's not a dress rehearsal. You need to be able to enjoy life. And you also bring more to your work when you like look around you and, and have fun.